Well, a baby girl who was separated from her family at the border is now back with her mother tonight. And we were there for the reunion at SFO about 24 hours ago. So, what happens to them now? My Beats Betty, you spoke with a mother tonight. Betty, what did she say? Well, Veronica, right now she says she's staying with family here in San Francisco as she seeks asylum. We spoke with her through an interpreter today. She said federal authorities have not explained to her why this reunion took so long, but for now she's just focused on her baby's health. It's been a difficult adjustment for 18 month old Juliet. Back in her mother's arms after a month long separation at the U.S. Mexico border. The first night was emotional. I can't begin to describe. Um, even seeing her for the first time was overwhelming. We were there last night when Juliet began to cry when she was placed in her mother's arms at SFO, surrounded by cameras. It didn't take long for Cindy Flores to notice changes in her daughter's behavior. My daughter is different from the last time I saw her. She was very playful, um, very, very happy, um, and now she's um, afraid of people and she's, um, she's not the same. <laughs> Juliet's also not feeling well, according to Cindy. She believes her daughter has a chest cold, and her caretakers never revealed it to her. They're lying to parents, um, telling them that their children are fine, that, um, that everything's okay, but the truth is that they're not. Cindy says Juliet crossed the border with her father, and border agents ripped her out of his arms. He was arrested for re entering the U.S. That charge has since been dropped, but he is currently being detained in Arizona. Immigration um, is is too uh, doesn't need to be this harsh um, with 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 people like us. Um, um, we don't need to be treated this way. We reached out to ICE tonight for a comment, but have not heard back. But immigration authorities have said that the father does have a criminal history. He's been deported multiple times, and his situation would be no different under previous administrations. On the night beat. I'm Betty Yu.